I've worked hard on my batting. I've got that to a point now where I really do have a solid game plan that I'm going to stick to uh, no matter what uh, distractions I have around me. It's probably something that I struggled with in the past and, and now I'm, you know, I go into this week knowing that if I get an opportunity that um, I've got a game plan that I'm going to stick to and, and that's all that matters. Um, I think I certainly came into that game I had a lot more uh, confidence in my game style. I think uh, being out of the team for a bit and being injured gave me a little bit of time to actually come back home and work on a few things that I, I certainly need to try and change. When he got injured in India, it allowed him to have a bit of time and have a pre-season back home in Western Australia. And I, knew, I knew how hard he worked on his batting. The one thing he did say leading into the summer was he just has never been in a better place with his batting. He felt really confident and the one thing that stuck out for me was how self-assured he was. He, you know, in the past he'd copped quite a bit, he'd been in and out of sides and I just remember him coming to the test team really relaxed and said, it's great, I know I'm going to score runs. If I don't, it's fine because I know I'm in great form, I know I've done everything right. I know the runs are going to come. Once I got picked, I started to believe that, yep, this is, this is my chance again. Um, and I probably thought I'd be a little bit more nervous than what I was at the time because it was an Ashes series. We were 2-0 up, we had the opportunity to win. Um, but yeah, I just got out there and ran a baggy green in front of the home crowd. And that, that kept me relaxed for the whole five days. And... Here's Mitchell Marsh. He's got a wonderful opportunity at number six for his country again. And playing really well for Western Australia. And that's how he's got himself in this team. To be a little bit of pressure associated with this return. Oh, that's four. Please mention Marsh, no end. Got away early, got a couple of fours early, which sort of settled the nerves. Oh. Thumping drives here from the Australians. I don't think it was necessarily intentional for me to be aggressive. I think that. All my hard work had just started to pay off and I, I really executed my skills that day which was uh, probably the most pleasing part. Oh, it hits the ball so hard. He's just got to keep batting like that. He'll get to 100 before you know it. Goes four more, moves to 96. To be honest, I, I wasn't really that nervous and I don't know why because even if it's in a, you know, for my club side, Fremantle, if I get into the 90s, I'm, I'm ne that nervous, and every cricketer is, there's no point hiding behind that. Um, but that day I just had a real sense of calmness about me. I guess I just wanted it so much that nothing was going to, you know, get in my way, and um, that was my mentality anyway. I certainly remember the shot, yet. Yeah. I was just hoping for a wide one or anything I could throw my hands up from, from Stuart Broad. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. A hundred in front of his family in front of his home crowd and his first in Test Match Cricket. Yeah, I was super happy for him. I could have been more prouder you know, for him to do that in his comeback Test Match. In front of your family and friends as well, you know, a great achievement. And, um, you know, I thought he played beautifully. It was genuinely just pure elation. I had a lot of people back me in and support me, um, and I wanted to you know, do it for them as well, for my family. Like I had my grandparents in the crowd. Like all this stuff was going through my head at the time. You know, I just wanted to watch the ball, and yeah, luckily uh, Forty just put one out nice and wide for me, and I went hard at it, and yeah, the rest is history. Steve and I have become great mates. Um, and that's a day that, you know, hopefully in years to come, we can always talk about and always reminisce on. I was very emotional because it was a big moment for me and he was really great in that moment, just telling me to you know, take my time and to, to calm down and also remember that I still had plenty of batting left in me. Oh. <laughs> I need to chase that. That is 150 for Mitchell Marsh. I just had fun, I just enjoyed it, I think. Having gone through a bit of a rough patch, um, certainly with my batting in the test arena, makes you realise that sometimes you can get pretty down yourself. There's always going to be ups and downs. You've got to enjoy the game of cricket. 